So if you're trying to get the uh, airport bus from Hanoi to the airport, from Camellia Hotel to the airport, that's not the bus stop. This is the bus stop. We missed our bus. Vietnam and we're going home yay, yay. Mm. that wasn't enthusiastic <laughs> but, um. it's good to go home but it's very sad to leave yeah it's been an amazing trip it's been an amazing month lots of experiences yeah. lots of fun and yeah and I've been up for what three hours now and haven't had coffee yet we haven't had coffee yet so it's, it's getting Getting, it's getting intense. It's getting intense. The struggle is real. So we're gonna go find some coffee right now. Yeah. And wait for a flight back home to Hong Kong. Yeah. We are in Hong Kong. <laughs> 15 minutes. It is 12.55. It feels very good to be back. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Getting through this airport as a Hong Kong resident mm. is so easy. It's so easy. Yeah, they're so efficient here. Yeah, <laughs> it's been really nice. So, um, yeah, we're here. We're gonna get the train back to our apartment, kind of uh, settle down for a bit, and uh, we'll check in with you a little bit later to finish off this video and finish off this trip series. Trip, yeah. yeah. Okay, back home. Back home.
are back. Very happy to be home. It's been so nice just kind of coming back to where, where we live and finding all our things in the right place and being able to wear different clothes and not having to wear the same one of four or five outfits. Five, four <laughs> outfits probably, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's good to be back. However, I was telling, we were both talking today and saying, uh, if our destination from Hanoi today hadn't been Hong Kong and had been somewhere different, if this trip had continued, I probably would have gotten on that plane of course. with a huge smile on my face and Absolutely. said, let's do it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so much fun. Month of traveling. I could, I could go more. Yeah, we could definitely do more. We could have kept going but we, we, we had to come back to Hong Kong and start a new school year. Okay, so it's the end of our trip and there are a few things that we'll take with us forever, for sure. One thing that fu the future me needs to remember <laughs> when I go, when we go traveling again for this, like for an extended period of time is that fine, be a control freak as you are and try to book everything in, in advance. Like we did. Like we did. But make sure you make some room for spontaneous decisions. Because on the road, you will find interesting things. And if you have everything else booked, you won't have the time to do these things. For example, we when we got to Vietnam, we had three things to do. Spend time with our friends. Karen and James go to Tim Cock and go to Hamong Bay. We booked all of these things. Well, not Karen and James. <laughs> not. But we booked one day for Tim Cock and one day for Hamong Bay, and then the next day we had to come back to Hong Kong. So basically, we could have done things differently so we could spend more time in these places. Uh, but yeah, mental note: we'll do it differently next time. Absolutely. Yeah. Leave some wiggle room. Don't make your uh, travel schedule airtight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As for me, I think traveling for a month is uh, a very amazing uh, learning experience. And one of the things for me that was most important was the food. Not not because I love food, I love eating, everything like that. But um, when you go to these different countries, try things, right? My example is uh, I've always hated mushrooms. <laughs> yes. Take them off pizza when I get them. Uh, avoid any dishes that come with mushrooms or ask waiters or waitresses to take the mushrooms away. And in this particular trip, especially in Thailand, when we were doing the cooking class, making the soups and making salads and things like that, mushrooms were in everything. Every single dish. Even, even, yeah. even the sauce was mushroom. Um, I had no choice, I had to try it. And I actually really enjoyed it. So the takeaway for me is if you try different things and kind of just go out of your comfort zone, you're gonna find things that you really enjoyed that you've never tried before, or things that you thought that you really hated, which you actually really don't. Mm -hmm. So when you travel to different countries, try these things. Just kind of go go off your go off go out of your comfort zone and order that one thing that you normally wouldn't order because mm -hmm. you never know. You really you really don't. Yeah. A final bonus takeaway, um, as you've probably seen in previous videos, steps in Asia. Steps. Go up the steps. If there are steps, go up it. Yeah. You will find the most amazing things. Mm -hmm. Promise. Absolutely. Yeah. Even if you have to climb up a hundred uh, thousand steps. Yep. <laughs> you just go up. I probably wouldn't climb up a hundred thousand <laughs> steps. Okay. But, okay. Even if you have to go up a thousand steps, go up it. But since moving to Hong Kong and traveling around these countries, I think we're like five for five on going up large amounts of steps yeah. and finding the most amazing thing. Mm -hmm. So come to Asia, go up the steps. Mm -hmm. It's worth it. So excellent. We're done. We're done traveling for now. This isn't the end of our videos. Um, I mean, Hong Kong's pretty cool. So we might find ourselves doing a couple things around Hong Kong every so often and um, try and record it and put it here on the channel. And um, yeah. yeah, so we can look back in some years and just yeah remember how our life was in Hong Kong. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And the next time we travel, we're definitely bringing the cameras along. Definitely, doing well. definitely doing that as well. So yeah. There you go. So, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. And we will see you the next time we post some videos. Yes. Bye. Bye.